The Overwhelm is Optional podcast is for you if you want to quit the struggle with overwhelm. You want to live life to the full. You don't want to compromise your health and relationships in order to have well-paid, satisfying, meaningful work. You want it all on your terms. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Overwhelm is Optional podcast with me, Heidi, Gentle Rebel Coach at uh, www.heidimark.co.uk. So how are you doing? How's your week been? So this week I want to talk about permission, giving yourself permission because I can't give you permission. Nobody else can give you permission even though we long for permission, don't we? Permission to be messy and imperfect. I think this is really important. I know it's important for me. Um, One of the joys and the um, extraordinary challenges of being an online entrepreneur, having a personal brand, is giving myself permission to be messy and imperfect. So one of the joys, actually, no, what I mean is that's one of the aspects of that. But one of the the main thing is that for me, it's like um, I call it being a Zen Zenpreneur because as a personal brand especially as an introvert but I I'm pretty actually I'm pretty sure it's not necessarily that different for extroverts it's that am I good enough you know am I good enough to be online look at my hair look at my skin look at my face look at the way I talk oh my mouth looks really funny when I talk what am I saying is it good enough does anybody want to hear from me it's very strange, very strange business. It, it amplifies the, the normal um, the normal journey all of us are on about am I good am I good enough? Do I need to be better? So for me it's often like, oh, I'm waiting for somebody to tell me I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> so for example, I decided that um, I would just focus on Instagram and that I would make it fun. And then now I've realised I don't really know what I'm doing with certain things. So I, I feel like, oh, I wonder if somebody could tell me, how should I be using, what are Instagram stories for? Because there's lots of different parts of Instagram. And now I'm just like, who cares? Because it's just a tool for connection, right? And it, And I want to make it fun and inspiring and connective. So if I think of the purpose of it, um, it doesn't really matter what other people are doing. There aren't any rules. And and I'm sure there's loads of rules about algorithms and increasing your reach. And yes, you know, part of my job is to find more people, to inspire those people, to connect with them. And then if they choose and if we're fit to work together. So it is my job to increase my reach on Instagram. But actually, do you know what? (laughs) The fun bit is more important. Why? Because in the end, it's about energy, isn't it? There's that lovely quote, isn't there, about people will forget what you did and what you said or something. And I think it's Mary Angelou. Um, But they'll never forget how you made them feel. So if I get, which I have done, if I get into the, oh, I wonder how you're supposed to do Instagram as opposed to the, Oh, I wonder how I could make it fun and put out my message in the easiest way, just me being myself, because actually, what do I crave online? People being themselves. So that's what I've been. That's what I mean about um, entrepreneurship, online entrepreneurship, really raising those things up that are normal parts, isn't it, of life, like the whole ought I should I be doing this because I don't really know what I'm doing and am I doing it right? The the waiting for like the mayor of the internet, internet as James Wedmore, um, my previous mentor calls it, like there is no mayor of the internet. So if you're, if you're um, using the internet, which most of us do to grow your business and reach clients, are you doing it right? Who cares? Like, just be nice, be yourself, be kind. That's where I'm trying to go at the moment. So that's my own journey with the self-acceptance, the idea that I'm perfect and a work in progress and the work in progress, the personal growth is letting go of this idea that there's anything fundamentally wrong with me. So at the moment that's appearing in, oh, 
Am I doing it correctly on Instagram? And that's what I'm that's the thing I'm releasing this week. So I thought I'd share that with you for for like a an idea of where I am with this. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to ask you that question. Do you need to give yourself permission? Are you waiting for permission from somebody else? Or probably where I think a better question actually is where where in your life are you waiting for permission to be yourself? And being if you're committed to personal growth, which I'm just going to assume you are because that's why you're here. This is a personal growth podcast, right? I'm committed to personal growth. All my clients are committed to personal growth. And by that, we mean living living our full adventure, like uncovering how to live our full adventure. So in that case, um, it's going to be messy. It just is. It's going to be messy. Like you can't you can't live your full adventure without it being messy and without accepting your imperfect self, because what you're then going to do is rehearse, rehearse your adventure before doing it. Well, then it's not an adventure. It's a done deal. You can't buy an off the shelf life where all of your aims, all of your goals, all of your dreams are already done without any adventure getting there. That's not that's not an adventure, right? That's just what is that? And also that whole, oh, I don't want anything to change. Change is really scary. Um, And part of the reason change is scary is because it's messy, because we don't know all of the steps. We only we can only really see the next step. And that's really scary. That ability to cope with the uncertainty of not knowing. And I, I know I really struggle with this, you know, like for lots of for big projects like renovating our home. Um, at the moment, I'm looking at how I can make um, my partner's 50th birthday straw bale build go ahead. You know, it's like, I don't know all the steps. And I've noticed I'm avoiding um filling out the application form for pre-planning because what if I get it wrong it's really interesting so and also that demonstrates to you I hope clearly that I am messy and imperfect that I'm not confident at everything I do it's just a process it's an adventure so what I will do with that form which I mean I did I have got quite far with it and I can see I'm judging myself why have you not done it yet Um, I did print it off fill it out in rough and I know what I'm avoiding doing, and that's drawing a sketch of the of the plan, which is only a rectangle. So what for me, because I've now logically made it easy, now I'm exam. Uh, ne- my next step will be to examine why am I avoiding it? What is the fear? Because in doing that, it's not just getting the form done; it's the opportunity to um, do it do it wrong, but get it done. And also to examine on the way to getting that done, um, the fear that's coming up. What's the fear? What's the fear? What's the fear? What's the fear? So for me, that follow the fear exercise around being messy and imperfect is really helpful. It doesn't mean that I always remember to do it because I'm messy and imperfect too. But for me, because I'm committed to this path, I've noticed recently I've been getting better and better at going, oh, it's fear. It's fear that's making me procrastinate. It's fear that's stopping me doing that. Oh, what does it want to tell me? What is the fear there for? What is it here to help me with? What is it here to protect me from? What's going on? This and the curiosity about fear is really, really helpful. So I'll ask you, I'll ask you the question again. Where in your life? Do you feel like you're waiting for permission, external permission or validation for somebody else to be messy and imperfect? Are there some things that you'd really like to do that you aren't doing because you have a fear of getting it wrong, of not doing it perfectly? And anything that comes up is an opportunity to release some of that um some of those beliefs and habits about not being good enough for your own life for your own adventure so it's a great question which I'm actually going to leave you with so I'm not going to this is a really short episode because if I give you lots of ways of dealing with that then it takes away from the the beauty of a question like that so just allowing that question to 
just like flow through you for a week. I've actually I've got no idea what next week's podcast is about, so I might not follow up on this for a bit. And that's good because I don't have the answers you seek. I believe you do. But what I believe is we've not been taught how to fly the ship. We've been taught that the mind should be in charge, that the logical mind is the way through that knowledge, that education of learning of facts, that's the way. Googling stuff, you know, checking your facts. It's not that there's not a place for that. It's that when we over rely on the mind, we don't live our full adventure. And for those of us who get easily overwhelmed and then get stuck in that frustrating, not being able to think, straight, not being able to make good decisions, not having the energy we want, not having the peace of mind we want, feeling exhausted and stuck and frustrated. For us, it's even more important to understand that our brilliant, brilliant mind is not the way to fly the ship. We need more skills. We need to be able to know our minds, understand what our minds are good at, and understand how they're easily hijacked. And that when the mind is hijacked, the very old ancient systems that are there to keep us safe are switched on and the nervous system goes into high alert. And I believe that that's happening constantly, constantly with things like news headlines, You know, all of the stresses, all of the things that we have to do, all the ways that we're being told we ought to be better. um, Advertising that that deliberately feeds into our feelings of not being good enough, of not being worthy, of needing to be better in order to be lovable. All of that just is setting off our nervous system and then keeping it triggered. So we've got this low level, it's high level stress, but we're viewing it as inevitable and low level but it's not it's it's damaging and just understanding that our minds aren't there to fly the ship that we need to tap into our own internal navigation system that we need to listen to our bodies and connect to our hearts and control our attention that there's a there's a different way of doing things but I'm going to leave you I'm going to leave you with just that lovely question Is there anywhere in your life, or I would say, where are you? Because I bet there's somewhere. Um, Where in your life are you waiting for permission? Because only you can give it to yourself. And if you want to share what comes up for you, I so love hearing, so, so, so love hearing from you. And you can just email me um, at Heidi at HeidiMark.co.uk and say hello that would be lovely Um, or the other quickest way is to send me a dm on instagram don't use facebook messaging because that's i don't i don't really do facebook um yeah it'd be lovely to hear from you so otherwise just enjoy a week of letting that question let that question just flow through you and just see what comes up that's helpful for you and helps you to yeah live your life your way thank you for listening to this week's episode if this resonates with you please use the like subscribe and share buttons to help other people find their way here too and please do go to www.heidimark.co.uk forward slash the one minute mark with an e to join my mailing list and receive my free one minute life-changing audio practice